Recently, while we were at the Muscle Car and Corvette National Show in Chicago, and we happened by the Mecham auction display, we noticed that there were three cars there that were just unbelievably important, and they're all coming up for auction at the 2019 Mecham auction in Kissimmee, Florida. So we thought it would be pretty cool to take a second, not only to look at what these cars are, but also to have a contest. Uh, we've been accumulating some Brothers Collection baseball hats and VATV t-shirts, so we thought this would be a fun way to be able to give something back uh, for those who want to enter our little Guess the High Bid contest on these three unbelievable cars. The 1965 uh, Ford GT Roadster prototype, the 1967 Shelby GT500 Super Snake, and the 1932 Ford uh, Tom McMullen Roadster. Nineteen sixty seven was the first year you could get the big block FE engine in a Mustang platform, and Shelby, of course, put the four twenty eight in the GT five hundred. Uh, but Shelby was the West Coast distributor for Goodyear tires, and Goodyear had a new economy tire coming out called the Thunderbolt, and they wanted to do a uh, some sort of a promotional test with Shelby. So Shelby just wasn't going to put a set of tires on a car and drive it around. They wanted to do something cool. So the Shelby American team came up with an idea. Uh, you could get a 428 in the production version GT500. The 427, however, well, that was the very special race engine. So they thought, how cool would it be to build a handful of 427 powered cars using aluminum heads, aluminum intake, aluminum water pump, all kinds of high performance stuff, like 600 horsepower engines, and put them in a handful of these GT500s. And for this promotional Goodyear tire test, they bolted these skinny economy Thunderbolt tires on this car and ran it for 500 miles at a high speed to demonstrate the uh, longevity of the tires. So it's kind of funny to see this super high performance GT500 on these skinny little economy tires with the white stripe. But they did their job. It went uh, an average of over 142 miles an hour for 500 miles and only lost, I don't know, 3% of the tread wear on the tires. So it was a, a giant success for Goodyear. Uh, but the car never turned out to be a success in the sense that they never went on to build the multiple versions of the 427. There's only one, and this is it. And you could be the next owner if you uh, bring your wallet to the Kissimmee Mecham auction. So this is the first car in our series where you can guess the high bid, and if you're the winner, well, you can win a Brothers Collection hat and a V8 Speed and Resto Shop t-shirt. The second car going up for auction in our Guess the High Bid contest is a 1932 Ford Roadster, but this one is definitely special. This is known as the Tom McMullen car. McMullen owned this car from 1958 through 1970, and he was a guy who was a, a racer, a street racer, a salt flats racer, uh, a drag racer, any kind of racing, this guy was into it. And this car has done almost every kind of racing there is. Uh, it was drag raced, it set uh, speed records at the Salt Flats and at El Mirage, the dry lake beds. It had a variety of different engines in it and uh, it was featured in the 1963 Hot Rod Magazine on the cover, looking exa almost exactly like it does right now. Uh, McMullen went on to sell this car, but he started uh, Street Rider Magazine and the McMullen Publishing Company and is very well known in, in the magazine world. Unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago, but uh, he sold the car in 1970, never owned it again, always regretted selling it. So a team of uh, uh, people who really liked this car got together, headed by Roy Brizio, to restore it a few years ago. They scanned the original Ed Big Daddy Roth flame job and Art Himsel recreated those on the car. Brizio and his team did a phenomenal job of restoring it back to the way it was on the cover of Hot Rod in 63. It's got a 283 Chevy engine with a supercharger on it, the American racing wheels, the uh, moon tank on the front, the drilled axles, of course the iconic flame job. And a lot of people might look at this car and say, hey, it's a, it's a flame 32 Ford, you know, with, with that look. But this is the car that kind of started that look. So all these street rides you see out there today, they all kind of point back to this one. And again, you could own it. Just go to the uh, Meekum auction or sign up online at Meekum.com to register to bid on the McMullen Roadster. If you're not ready to bid on it, you can guess what the bid will be in our contest at musclecaroftheweek.com slash 
contest. The third car in our Guess the High Bid Meekum Auction contest is another one that has a huge story. It's tremendously significant. It's a 1965 Ford GT Roadster prototype race car. And back in the uh, early 60s, from 64 on, Ford really wanted to beat Ferrari at Le Mans in France. So they started development of the GT40 program by 60, late 64, early 65. They had done a couple of the Roadster cars like this one, but this is the only Roadster to ever actually compete in Le Mans. And not just the only Ford GT40 Roadster, this is the only open car to ever compete in the 24 hours of Le Mans. So right away we've got a uh, super significant uh, uh, history of the car. It was uh, used in the development of the team of cars that eventually beat Ferrari in 66 uh, and in 1967. So there's uh, racing heritage there. Um, it has a, a neat history of who owned it. Uh, this car eventually, after being used in its uh, uh, racing development, it belonged to Dean Jeffries. Dean Jeffries was a guy who did a lot of custom work and paint work for Shelby. Um, he owned it and restored it. In fact, the engine that's in it now was actually given to him by Carroll Shelby. It's a 289 car, although at one point this car was used to help to develop the Ford overhead cam Indy engines and one of those engines goes with this car to whoever ends up owning it. So it was a test bed and a research and development car for all kinds of racing technology throughout uh, the, that Ford GT program as they went to Le Mans. And today it is restored right back to the way it looked, uh, a super accurate restoration, beautiful, beautiful car. It's gonna be an expensive one, but it's very, very significant. And this is the third car that you can either own yourself or you can guess the high bid on our contest. Now to play along with the contest, it's real easy. Go to musclecartheweek.com slash contest. And we just ask for a couple pieces of information, your name, an email address, so we can let you know if you won. And then just type in your three guesses on the three cars. And the way we're gonna score this is whoever gets closest to each of the three. So there'll be one winner for somebody who says the closest actual sale number to all three of the cars on their individual cost. And then, uh, we're going to give another set of prizes to somebody who guesses a number that totals up to be what the total was. So for round numbers, if each car you know, sells for $10 and somebody guessed 10, 10, 10, that person wins. But if somebody guessed $1, $1, and 28, and they total up to be 30, like all three did, the guy who guessed 30 also wins. And we're doing this on our page because it's easier than tallying these comments on YouTube, Facebook, or whatnot. More rules and stuff will be on the website, so you can go check that out. And of course, the winner wins a Brothers Collection hat and a V8 Speed and Resto Shop t-shirt. So just kind of a fun thing to do. The deadline is January 11th at noon Eastern time, because these cars will all be crossing the auction block Friday and Saturday at the Meekum Kissimmee auction in Florida. So good luck, and uh, if you end up owning any of these cars, please let me know, and uh, maybe we'll come out and do an actual video feature on them. Thanks for watching. We'll have more cool cars next time on Muscle Car Week.